Hey guys, welcome back. So today you've seen the thumbnail and you've seen the title. You want to stop getting fines in Emergency Hamburg. I know how annoying it can be and uh, that's why I was sort of thinking about how I can avoid them and I've come up with a few solutions. So please do consider subscribing. Let me just check. I th I'm pretty sure we're actually closing on 9,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Let's get to 10k subscribers. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, I'm driving along. And there's a chance I could get flashed by a speed camera or the traffic lights if I run a red light. And it is just the most annoying thing because as you can see, I'm going like 100 kilometers right now, 105 kilometers an hour. And this isn't even that fast for this game. Like it does not feel like you're going 100 kilometers an hour. Like it feels relatively like this right here. This feels relatively slow. I'm not going to lie to you guys. And for the most part, do you know what around? It, bro, you see that? I was about to say for the most part, I got flashed for going too fast. I got fined 500 euros. Now, 500 euros in this game is actually a lot. I only have 72k. I just got flashed again, bro. 31 kilometers too fast. Like, I cannot even see where the speed camera is. Like, I have no idea where it is. But how are you meant to avoid this? Well, one of the best ways to avoid these speed cameras is literally by not driving on the road. If I, like, okay, obviously I crashed. If I go on the pavement and try and avoid the speed camera, I will not get flashed because... I was either in the speed limit or I avoided it. Let me go into a better area to like show this off. It works with traffic lights as well. So you see this this uh, traffic light here, how it's green. It's now red. Now if I go through this red light, I should get a fine. There we go. You got fined for running a red light. So let's just reverse. Come on, go, go, go. And I'll show you how you can avoid this. I just got fined again, bro. So instead of uh, obviously going right through it, you can actually avoid it by going around the, uh, the detection, bro. This was a bad vehicle to, to show the example in. Literally drive around the detection zone. And there you go. I've completely avoided the red light, as you can see. It's all about playing it smart, folks. Let me go uh, somewhere else to show you again. I'm sure I'm going to get fined around here somewhere. So let me just drive on the pavement to avoid it. Nice, nice, nice. Sometimes you can actually see the... Uh, the speed cameras are actually like quite large on the side of the road. Sometimes you can just like purposefully avoid them. So this road here, 70 kilometers an hour, right? This is 70 kilometers an hour. Nobody is driving at 70 kilometers an hour, bro. So here we go. We got a red light. I don't know if I get fined for crossing this. I mean, I do get hit by a train. Uh, but there we go. Go around that. No fine. Okay, here's another example. We got a red light here. Let me go around the red light. As you can see, completely avoided that fine. Did not get fined for going around. You've literally just got to weave around, bro. That's literally it. I don't know if the devs will watch this video and, like, patch it and make it a bit wider. Like, the te detection zone. But, look, bro. Another red light. Literally just drive all the way around. Completely avoid the detection zone. And then you don't get fined. You save, like, thousands of euros from doing this, bro. Honestly, it is OP. Honestly, it's so annoying when you get fined, man. One of the most annoying things. I think the red lights are the easiest to avoid. The hardest to avoid is the uh, the speed cameras because sometimes they are hidden. And yeah, they are pretty hard to avoid. So yeah, but now I'm going to give you some other obvious ways on how you can avoid it. First one being avoid speed camera routes. If you can go around back roads or on the autobahn, you're going to avoid these, these speed cameras, which is probably the best idea. So like these roads here, these these thin little roads, if you can see it behind my face going like right right here, these roads here, they have no speed cameras on, no traffic lights. Um, so if you wanted to go from here to the main city, uh, sorry, from like up here by the clothing store, you could either take the autobahn, you could take the train, or you could drive down, let me just disable my face cam. You could drive down this road, right, then go over the uh the country roads out here and you might find some speed cameras or whatever here so then you could go around onto the autobahn follow it all the way around and then into the city and then obviously i mean you're going to be subjected to a lot of speed cameras in the city so you can't really avoid them there but traffic lights you can avoid them so yeah planning your route one of the most important things if you want to avoid these speed cameras next thing follow the speed limit <laughs> that is another way to avoid these fines however it, they are really silly speeds like bro i bet this road here is 70 kilometers an hour and that is just like so slow bro nobody wants to go that speed i think they should like make the cars go a bit faster based on what speed they're going so like 100 kilometers an hour should be a little bit faster and i've just crashed into the water excellent well that's all right because um 
as you can see, I got an admin car. And uh, for the next way to avoid fines is literally, if you're in a private server, spawn an admin car in. You're not going to get fined if you turn your admin lights on. Even if you go through traffic lights or speed cameras, you're not getting fined once. So, yeah, honestly, using an admin car is really good in uh, private servers. Obviously, you can't use them in public servers. So for that, you'd have to obviously go into the police team or fire department and turn on your emergency lights and you'll never get fined for anything, basically. So, yeah. However, if you're planning on being a civilian, using the tips and tricks that I've given you before, they are going to be your best friend, bro. I promise you. So, yeah, I mean, I hope those uh, few tips helped you maybe avoid some fines to try and implement them. So here's one right here. Obviously, it's very hard to avoid this one. I'm wondering if you went like at a certain speed and weaved around here. You might be able to avoid, but obviously it's a tight squeeze. So I don't know if you could avoid one like this, because obviously you can't get around it at all. No, you can't even get behind this. There's no way you're getting behind that. So some are unavoidable. Unavoidable. However, traffic lights, bro, you can easily, like this right here. I can easily avoid this. I literally, all I have to do is go around like this. Just take it quite wide and boom, there we go. Okay, I, I got, I got caught that time. I'm guessing some of the detection zones are a bit bigger. Okay, it's right again. You just got to go really wide with it. I promise you, you got to be really, really wide with it. And I just avoided that traffic light down there from literally just going wide. And you're probably thinking that I'm lying or something because this one's green. But actually, we came from this direction and the traffic light was red. So I've gone all the way around here. This one was green, sure, but I went all the way around here and avoided it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully it helped you out. Take care. Subscribe. Help me get to 10k. And goodbye.